guys, it takes two. Sorry we're a bit late tonight. Something to do with football. OK, have you ever wondered what it takes to become a Strictly professional? Well, this is how Christina and her dancing stripes. I am Christina Rianov, and this is my Strictly dance life. I was born in Russia in the city of Vladivostok in 1977. My father wanted for me to learn a piano or guitar, but I didn't want to do it. All I wanted to do is dance. I was eight years old when I have won my first dance contest. It was just a very small local one, but to me it was so big and so important. So I thought to myself, that's all I want to do for the rest of my life, dance and compete. When I was 21 years old, I was invited to compete professionally and I had to move to America. One year after another, I become more successful. I won American Rhythm Latin Championships. I won national champions in South Africa and we were world semi-finalists in Blackpool Championships. The proudest moment of my professional career was to dance in front of the royal family of Japan, among the most amazing and famous couples in the world. I can't describe how wonderful it was. I have met Brian about three years ago at one of the competitions in the United States. We just were introduced to each other by mutual friends. And we partnered each other in a couple of dances and we have decided to come here together as well. I was a big fan of the show. I watched it in America and I really wanted to be part of it. So I sent my resume to the original show, Strictly Come Dancing. I was delighted to come over here and be part of the show. When Christina arrived, you knew it. Blonde, ambitious, and buxom. My first appearance on the show was with John Sargent. It was the most amazing and surreal moment, I think, in my entire life. She was clever enough to choreograph stuff that would make him look sort of accessible, I think, to the public. And that's why the public, you know, uh, loved him so much. Real crowd-pleasing choreography. Everybody will remember that famous drag across the floor. <laughs> and to me, it was nothing, just a move. But the way he did it was so different and so funny that people remember it still. It was a very, very sad moment when John has decided to step out of the competition. But I understood that um, I just had to support him on that. But yeah, it was sad. It's always sad to leave the competition. just want to say thank you to him for being my partner this season. It's been an amazing, amazing run for me. Joe is um, probably the most surprising partner of mine. He's actually one of the sweetest, kindest men you'll ever meet. But he had a stage fright. Every Saturday night was so difficult, but at the same time I said to him, you know what, at least you left the competition on your best dance. And that's what people will remember. What is brilliant about Christina and Joe Calzaghe is they've found more than dance in their partnership, and I think that's wonderful. You know, a lot of people meet through dance, and it just goes to prove that up close and personal does sometimes work. My life has changed dramatically since I started Strictly Come Dancing. It is the best thing that have happened to me. And of course I want to win this Strictly Come Dancing title in the future. I think it will be sort of a cherry on the top of the cake. But you know, Strictly isn't about winning, it's about the journey you take with your celebrity partner. And each one of them was the most amazing ones for me. And I couldn't be happier. <laughs>